Somebody's letter. Sarah Wangeshi Marui. Sarah Wangeshi Marui Bagoyako. Eh? Brother Moy? <coughs> this is, looks an, an, yeah. an important document. His daughter. Yeah? His daughter. Yeah. What is the daughter? That's an important document. That's Sabri. Sabri. Or the mother? The mama here. Where? I'll get it. Yeah. Well? I'll get it. All right, okay. Or well, you are their neighbors. Then keep it. The Lord bless you very much. Uh, now we have this announcement to make. Uh, now many people who have been uh, uh, listening to this teaching, uh, have requested strongly <coughs> that we don't stop the streaming we don't uh, we don't break it no, no not really <laughs> the subject is is the teaching eh? yeah so they have very much uh, requested now then we in, in uh, during the holiday of school holidays alafu wakati wa likizo ya shule the shule it's mine his own brother the what it's on yeah during the school holidays wakati wa likizo za shule we normally have a uh, conventions mara nyingi tunakuwa na mikutano in thika kule thika and uh, what we thought if we are going to stream this uh, then we may not have to go to Thika Pengine to see to see yeah we can uh, stream it from here now number two there are those people who have not been able to buy equipment to be able to listen. Now, and they attend those conventions. What we are going to do, we shall stream from here. That is Nakuru. Those, with, those who listen, <coughs> through their own equipment will, will, will listen from their own places as they always do uh, those who don't have equipment and therefore don't have a way of listening to the preaching and they come to the conventions yeah, we invite them here nakuru all right they'll participate 
in the meetings from here so we invite them <coughs> but whether you come or you opt to go to maybe another place that we leave it to people's freedom for example you might be coming from somewhere in Ukambani and you come for conventions in Thika Thika will be listening to the streaming so you can come to Thika on Saturday and Sunday because this time we shall have two days Saturday and Sunday if you come from say you come from Ranga and uh, you come for conventions in Thika you go to Thika they will be receiving from there but if you, are, you live near here and you go to Thika then you will come here on Saturday and Sunday now there are those who come from Igore Igore is Makutano on your way to Edred uh, whoever has communication with them uh, like brother Muhia uh, inform them we shall be having the meetings here if Thika has been too far for them then we invite them here because I don't think they are they are they are connected uh, with us yeah. See? so I think that information is clear anything not clear and somebody, and somebody telephones you uh, just explain that way we may not have a lot of visitors but because of that because of that technicality uh, we thought of holding the meetings uh, in another venue instead of here because we don't have a hall yet here and we want to have everybody in a hall now brethren have hired uh, Langalanga Primary School yeah, Shulia Primary uh, Langalanga Hapa Nakuru Town uh, Langalanga Primary School uh, and the meetings will be on uh, that is on 4th and 5th August August 4th and 5th we like having this, these meetings in the beginning of the month so that you may be able to organize yourself for the holiday those with the children in school yeah. so our meetings shall be on or will be on 4th and 5th August Saturday and Sunday Saturday and Sunday Langalanga Primary School uh, we want to request the brethren who are organizing this uh, to ask uh, when the time nears visit the place and uh, see the facilities uh, facilities oversee the especially especially uh, service 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 facilities yes yeah yani huduma kama and so forth we want to have a very clean environment right clean environment See, if it is their toilets we shall have to hire somebody or two people to make sure 
they are clean every every single minute itabidi tuko tukodishe watu ambao watahakikisha kwamba dio hivyo liko safi wakati wote wakati wote and also na pia find out if they have got if their water if their water service is guaranteed na muulize kama or, or they were disconnected long time ago muulize kama kwamba wana maji ama walikatiwa maji kitambo all right If they don't have water, kama hawana maji, we can't have meet, meet uh, we can't have public meetings in such in such a place. But I, but they, I assume they should have water because of the children. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now, uh, we are we are we, we don't expect many people but i want also to say just in case we shall have visitors we shall ask you to be ready maybe to accommodate a few people yeah is that clear no. i think that is clear I was I was told uh, brother Nation was telling me what, this is what <coughs> Oh there is baptism dedication baptism uh, no, dedication is hampre mwangi baptism is one person yeah. Okay But, And as we, we shall have baptism na leo tutakuwa na ubatizo Uh, to, we shall have this during the break. We shall also have dedication. Let's have this dedication in the next meeting also. Yeah. So that we save time. Uh, I was saying uh, brethren 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 wanted very much the meetings here. And uh, What I'm announcing was really not my arrangement. <laughs> It was their own arrangement. Uh, and they are telling they are saying they thought brother Mugo might refuse. <laughs> so they made sure they arranged everything. Put me in an awkward place. <laughs> uh, but We have a way, we have a we have a strange way uh, in our church here time immemorial tunaingia ya kipekee hapa kanisani mwetu wakati wote kutoka kutoka zamani kutoka zamani we have a strange way of running our own affairs here tunaingia yetu ya kipekee ya kuendesha mambo yetu hapa one na kwanza we have never argued in the leadership hatujawahi kubishana katika uongozi never and never hilo halijafanyika and we have never differed na hatujatofautiana not one not one incident hata kuna tukio hata moja right we have never differed hatujawahi kosana the other the other unique thing le jambo lingine la kipekee is that the leadership here ni kwamba uongozi hapa it's also unique pia ni wa kipekee in that I personally have acted in nobody's head. Mimi kwa kweli binafsi sijawahi kuwa kiongozi wa mtu fulani. Wa mtu. Sijawahi kuwa kiongozi wa mtu. These people you see here the trustees the deacons. Hawa watu naona hapa mashemasi na wadhamini. Have run the show on their own. Wameendesha mambo kivyao au peke yao. See. We only do consultations in a very rare way. Huwa tunajadiliana kwa njia hii. Tuna was tunajadiliana Uh, wa nyakati chache sana sana everybody knows what he's supposed to do kila mtu anajua anachopaswa kufanya and that's how they run things na hivyo ndivyo wanavyoendesha mambo hapa i don't know when grass is cut mimi sijui nyasi ukatwa wakati gani i don't know when the hedge is pruned hata sijui ua unakatwa siku gani i don't know when this class was painted sijui hata darasa hili lilipigwa rangi and who planted it And where money came from? And who decided it should be this color? I found the people painting. <laughs> I, see, 
I don't know. Nasijui. That's how we run things here. We don't know. Like things have run like that. Which means we have we have uh, me, I mean godly led men. Right? So the other time I saw some something of a generator uh, platering there. I only saw it like just as you saw it. <laughs> How much it cost? Where it was bought? I was just learning from the brethren. Like anybody, anybody else. So, and I believe that how things ought to be. Right? And things have been running very well. We want to thank the Lord very much for this, uh, for these brethren. The way God has led them, making our being here very comfortable. Right? And we pray that it will always be like that. Yeah. And now, everybody keep his place. I keep my place. So mine is to preach. I don't want to get involved by somebody in other businesses. No. See? And that's why we say we have God led people. Two and a Watu, wanaongozwa na Mungu. Na Mungu. And we want to thank the Lord very much for these brothers. Na tunataka kumshukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili ya ndugu hao. May the Lord bless you very much. Bwana awabariki sana. Now, let's embark on our lesson. Sasa turudi kwa somo letu. Today we have a long section. Leo tuna sehemu ndefu sana. And we shall see how far we go. I think we are page 47. Yeah? 47. Yeah, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you very much this morning, Lord, that you have given us this opportunity to gather here. Lord, we shall never take these things for granted. We know, Lord, our being here is, your own, is by your own grace. Precious Lord, we pray that you help us, that every time you gather us, Lord, may be profitable to us. Father, continue to lead us and to order our steps. We want to remember our brothers and sisters who are gathered with us today that, Lord, you bless them and speak to their hearts. We pray, Father, that you may make your voice to us, Lord, clear, so that, Lord, the things that you speak to us may be, may be profitable to us. It is your perfect will that you know, we know you, we know your way. It's your perfect will Father, that we know these things as recorded in the Holy Scriptures. Amen. Glorious Master, because you gave us the Holy Scriptures to guide us. It's you, Lord, in the Scriptures, and you guide us through thy word. Amen. Now, Heavenly Father, therefore, open our, open our understanding in your own way. Amen. Father, remember every brother and every sister. Amen. We commit all our needs unto thee. Father, that, Lord, you care for us in every way. Amen. Dear God, we pray, Father, that you may even remember those that are crying to thee day and night, Amen. that you may, may you make their hearts your abode. Amen. Hear their cry, Lord, Amen. that, Heavenly Father, they may fulfill your will concerning them in this world, Amen. and that, Lord, you may make them ready for thy second coming. Amen. We thank you for all things. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. The Lord bless you very much. So this morning we we want to thank all those that are, are listening with us. We ask that the Lord blesses them. Uh, many uh, uh, 
fellowshiping with us today. Wengi wanaoshiriki nasi asubuhi ya leo. Like the church in Thika. Kama kanisa kule Thika. Ah uh, brother Amos with the church in Kampala. Dugu Amos pamoja na kanisa kule Brother Alfred in Padisa. Brother Kariu Kinarok. Dugu Brother Kafaru Kariwa. We have brother Waidima the church in Nyeri. <laughs> we have brother is it mine in in the in where can I Gari in Dugungare in Kinago Dugungare brother Gari in Kinago and then we have uh, this place Naivasha we have brother Kimodo 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 is try to is the food wa mitambo for the church there in Naivasha <laughs> so son of sister Magondu ah so we greet we, we greet them all tunawasalimu ni nyote um i understand there are some sisters in a place called uh, where somewhere near Nairobi near Kikuyu ba Zambezi I was told there are some sisters who listen from Zambezi brother Koechi is in Mombasa Ndugu Koechi apo Mombasa uh they are on business I kwa shughuli zake we greet him this morning brother Maura in Mombasa also Ndugu Maura pia na sisters the brethren Nairobi Ndugu kule Nairobi and uh, and where Ko? Ah, so? Basichi Bugoma. I don't know whether they listen in Chemili, I don't know. Chemili. They do. Yeah. And where else? Oh, Jororo. There is brother Maina. Brother Maina? Yeah. He called me the he called me the other day. And he, told, he told me they are happy. I've also been called by people, other people, individuals from other groups who tell me they are they are listening and following this kidney. Uh, so uh, a brother was telling me of another pastor of one of these groups who is also inquiring how they can acquire the equipment. His people want to listen. Uh, we are going to help everybody any way we want, any way we can. And we want, I want to announce here let people not listen to this thing. I know people are convinced. Let nobody listen secretly. Come out openly. Because I know I know you are convinced. We shall help everybody. Alright? We have been looking forward to the time when people can have their eyes opened and know what the message is. Right? See? We also love people. They must understand that we love everybody. Alright? We may differ with you because you are you want to act like Nimrod. <coughs> you want to go off the, the original what? The original faith like he did. <coughs> but we still persuade you. <coughs> like Polycarp did to that church of Rome. <coughs> we persuade you to, 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 line, to line yourself up. See, line, up, line yourself up with the word. Yeah, the Lord is coming. So we are now on uh, <coughs> page 47. The child in Greece. I will I, also give you a background so that for somebody listening for the first time, kwa mtu, kwa mtu kwa kwanza, uh, you know what we mean. And for for your sake, sake in, for your sake, na kwa I want to read the Jeremiah Jeremiah 51. <coughs> Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah Uh, we we read uh, we read the six <coughs> from six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. 
and deliver every man he saw, be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Then verse 7 says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. All the earth drunken. See, the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. You can read the two verses in Swahili. Sita. Kimbieni kutoka kati ya Babeli, kila mtu na aliyokuwa nafsi yake. Msikati liwe mbali katika uofu wake, maana ni wakati wa kisasi cha Bwana atamlipa malipo. Babeli umekuwa kikombe cha dhahabu mikononi mwa Bwana, kilicholevia dunia yote. Mataifa wamekunywa mvinyo wake, kwa sababu hiyo mataifa wameingiwa na wazimu. Yeah. The whole earth. Dunia yote. All nations. Mataifa yote. Every nation. Kila taifa. See? Is a victim of the abomination of Babylon. Kila taifa limeadhirika na machukizo ya Babylon. Yeah. Now, then in Revelation 17. Alafu katika kitabu cha ufunuo wa mlango wa saba. Revelation 17. Kitabu cha ufunuo wa mlango wa saba. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials uh, and talked with me saying unto me come hither I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that seated upon many waters upon many waters and what are the waters that is verse what that is verse 15 and he said unto me the waters which thou sowest where the whole city are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. See? She seated upon many waters. Huyu kahaba anaketi juu ya majimengi. And verse 15 explains what the many waters are. Yes? Mr. Kuna Tano naeleza ya majimengi. Majimengi ni nini? Can you read 15? Kisha akaniambia yale maji uliyoyaona uliyoyaona hapo ketipo ile kahaba ni jamaa na makutano na mataifa na lugha na lugha ina the whole earth inamaanisha dunia yote si si now sasa verse 4 says there verse 4 aya ya nne hapo inasema And the woman, or rather, well, let's read verse 2. This woman, this whore, the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth, <laughs> the inhabitants of the earth, have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. With whom? Abai, now verse 2. Ambaye wafalme wa dunia wamezini nae Nao wakao katika dunia wame, uh, Wamelevyo na mvinyo o wa sherati wake The whole earth Dunia yote Jeremiah, In Jeremiah it said Katika Jeremiah ili sema Jeremiah 51 Don't Jeremiah close here moja, um, uh, Don't close there Sifunge hako Jeremiah 51 said Jeremiah msina moja ili sema Ah uh, Verse 7, Jeremiah 51, 7 said, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Yep. Babeli umekua kikombe cha dahabu mikononi mwabwana, kilicho levia dunia yote. Mataifa wamekunywa mvinyo wake, kwa sababu hiyo mataifa wameingiwa na wazimu. Yeah, then we have this who that seated upon many waters. In other words, she ruled. See, 
on people yeah natawala yeah, watu multitudes mataifa nations mataifa tongues makutano lugha that is people of every every la, every language yani watu wa kila lugha ta lugha si she dominates them yeah anawatawala also the kings of the earth have committed fornication with the her see and the inhabitants of the earth na wakao katika dunia have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication wamelevia na uvinyo wa uasharati wake see So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of, of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns Akanichukua katika roho hata jangwani nikaona mwanamke ameketi juu ya mnyama mwekundu sana mwenye kujaa majina ya makufuru mwenye vichwa saba na pembe kumi. And the woman was vichwa saba you know You know now what the the a horn means. Yeah? All right? See. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Na mwanamke yule alikuwa amevikwa nguo ya rangi ya zambarau nyekundu amepamba kwa dhahabu na kichwa cha thamani na lulu naye alikuwa na kikombe cha dhahabu mkononi mwake kilichojawa na machukizo na machafu ya uasharati wake so is the same thing here in in jeremiah kwa hivyo ni kitu hicho cha kwa katika kitabu cha jeremiah that babylon had been a golden cup in the lord's hand hapa babylon imekuwa uh, kikombe cha dhahabu mkononi mwa bwana that made all the other drunken kilicholevia dunia yote nations mataifa amid a drunken of her mataifa yamelevwa na yeye and, uh, and every nation is mad na kila taifa after drinking from that cup of hers kila taifa limekuwa wazimu baada ya kunywa kutoka kwa hicho kikombe chake and here the woman na hapa mwanamke is having a golden cup hapo na kikombe cha dhahabu See in her hand and this cup is full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication You see and then Jeremiah says that Babylon had uh, free out of Babylon But seven says Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand And here in verse 5 of Revelation 17 <coughs> It says upon her forehead this woman was a name written Amea Mystery Siri In other words her system inamaanisha kwamba mpango wake is a mystery. Ni siri. All right? Sawa. It's a mystery. Ni siri. Babylon the great. Babylon mkuu. The mother mama of Harlot. Mama wa Makahab. See? <coughs> the mother. Mama. If there is any Harlot spiritual Harlot in the world kama kuna kahaba yeyote wa kiroho duniani if there is any religious system any religious system that is supposed to believe in god but is but is it is listening to another one besides god that is sitting kama kuna mpango wote duniani unaopaswa kuwa unashughulikia mambo ya Mungu lakini sasa unamtii mwingine badala ya Mungu naye ni bilisi at the apple that a religious system is committing is committing is committing fornication against the one that supposed to be a husband yani mpango wa dini unafanya uzinzi na mwingine ila yule aliyepasa kuwa bwana bwana wake whichever system it is haijalishi ni mpango gani the mother is babylon 
Mama yake ni Babylon. Mama ya hiyo dini ni Babylon. Babylon. She got that she got she got that a character that immorality from her mother. Alipata tabia hiyo mbaya kutoka kwa mama yake. And the mother is Babylon. Na mama so yake. Babylon is the source. Babylon ndio chanzo cha ubaya kwa mambo hayo. See? Right? Sawa. So, <coughs> kwa hivyo, and upon her forehead was a name written mystery. Na katika kipaji cha uso wake alikuwa ameandikwa jina siri. Babylon the Great. Babylon mkuu The mother of Harlots. Mama wa makahaba. She has many religious systems. Ana mipango mingi sana ya dini. Ana ya ana 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 she has got many other branches. Ana matawi mengine mengi. Religious branches. Ma matawi ya kidini. But, all, but they all learned their disobedience from uh, against God from their mother. Lakini wote walijifunza uasi wao dhidi ya Mungu kutoka kwa mama yao. Babylon. Babylon. Is that clear? Babylon. Babylon. See. Mother of Harod. Mama wa Makahaba. And abominations of the earth. Na machukizo ya dunia. Yeah. And she also she also is an enemy. Pia yeye ni adui for anyone. Yeye ni adui wa yeye yote. Anyone who goes against her system. Yeye ni adui wa yeye yote anayeenda kinyume cha mpango wake. Cha dini yake. Cha dini yake. And she has killed many. Na amewaua wengi through the centuries. All right? Now, so what we are that's why we are talking about the two Babylons. <laughs> that there is no difference between the old Babylon and the present Babylon. <laughs> It is the same system. <laughs> that has evolved from from this faced into another ambao umekuwa ukijeuza ukijigeuza ya ukijeuza kutoka hali hii hadi hali nyingine but the same system lakini mpango ule ule is that clear now sasa today leo that system wears two faces mpango huo una nyuso face yeah una nyuso mbili au yeah kitu some like that ni the, the hidden face kuna uso wa kafiri like you talk about muslims talk about hindus you talk about jains ninajua waislamu jains na wahindu another face here uso mwingine hapa you see pentecostals presbyterians anglicans pcas another face uso mwingine see but that face is this face lakini uso ule ni huu see People don't see Muslim in Christendom. Watu hawaoni Uislamu katika katika Ukristo. Hii wanaita Ukristo. They don't see Hindu. They don't see Hindu in Presbyterian. Watu hawaoni Hindu katika PCA. But I believe I will see. Lakini muamini wataona. See? It's mystery. See. 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 You want to be Christians? Mnataka kuwa wa Kristiano? She she becomes one anafanyika mmoja. Alright? See, you don't want priests, you want bishops. Hautaki makuhani, mnataka mabishopu. She becomes one. Anakuwa mmoja wa mabishopu. Alright? But the same guy. Lakini jamaa yule yule. Now, sasa, uh, the beginning of this system is Babylon. Mwanzo wa mpango huu ni Babylon. Now it is spread as the scripture says the whole world. Sasa ulienea kama vile maandiko yanavyosema ulimwengu mzima. What we are trying to do kile tunajaribu kufanya is to trace it ni kufuatilia in various countries. Katika nchi mbalimbali. All right? Mm -hmm. Now we started uh, with with the origin. Tulianza na mahali ulianzia. Babylon. Mm -hmm. Babylon. In the, in the city of Bab Babylon. Na katika mji wa Babylon It is spread amongst a uh, Nimrod's people. Ukaenea miongoni mwa watu wa Nimrod who are called the Assyrians. Wanaoitwa wa Assyria. Right? Assyrians. Wa Assyria. From the from Assyria now Na the very origin. Sasa kutoka Assyria chanzo chake chenyewe spread to other nations. Upango huu ukaenea katika mataifa mengine. And we have sampled a few nations. 
countries na tumechukua nchi chache kama mifano kama kama mifano all right tumechukua nchi chache kama mifano yes mm-hmm. uh, nani now they departed from the original faith waliondokea ile imani ya mwanzo and after and they knew god na walimjua mungu but they left him lakini wakamwacha if they left god wakamwacha mungu they had to have something else to worship ili bidi wawe na kitu kingine cha kuabudu so we came to the object of worship kwa hivyo tukaja kwa vitu vya kuabudu then we we see we saw them ending up ending up worshiping a woman tukaona wakiishia kimwabudu mwanamke holding a, a child in her hand akimshikilia akimshika mtoto anaye anayemshika mtoto mikononi mwake Then we wanted to know who this woman is. Then we wanted to know who this child is. Right? Now, we've gone through the child in Assyria the origin. Kule Assyria huyu mtoto alikuwa ni nani? We saw it was none other but Nimrod. Tukaona hapo mwingine ila ni Nimrod. How did he become a child? What how did they devise a doctrine of him as a child? Walitungaje? Walitungaje? Mafundisho yake kama kama mtoto. We followed tukafuatilia we we followed him tukamfuata that the that religion tukafuata nini hiyo in Egypt kule Misri Right? Sawa Now today Sasa, leo, we are following the same the same one tunamfuata yule yule this yule, child huyo mtoto worshiped in the mother's hands ali anayeabudiwa katika mikononi mwa mama yake we want to see tunataka kuona what the greeks kile, say about him ile ambacho wa yunani wanasema juu yake for he is the same kwa sababu ni yeye yule is that clear And while we are sampling those countries mifano ya nchi hizo we have even gone beyond Egypt we've gone to Japan we've gone to China we've gone to 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 Britain we've gone to Mexico among many other nations is that right So today we want to see this child in Greece kule Uyunani. The Greeks could not have this child Uyunani hawangekuwa na huyu mtoto unless they got this idea from Babylon. Isipokuwa wao walipata wazo hili kutoka Babylon. Is that, is that clear? You, because you have to believe the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, anywhere you see this kind of thing, trace it in Babylon. The Holy Spirit has will never come up with another place. Clear? Now. So, that's much for Egypt. Ah, Misri. See that is uh, page 47. We are subsection 3. Uh, the child in Greece. Mtoto kule Uyunani. We have gone through Egypt. Tumepitia Misri. We have gone this uh, spotted calf. Tumeona huyu ndama mwenye madoa doa. Eh the uh, the a priest wearing spotted uh, uh, priestly gowns. Kama na kuhani mevaa mavazi ya kikuhani ya madoa doa. See showing the showing which god he ministered for is, is that is that right mm-hmm. we also see Pia, in other places uh, this god in another, in other places he was called a dragon the fish god and we shall see by and by why they also typed him with a fish is that right <coughs> and, and, and then we see the priests of dagon <coughs> which we see <coughs> in our christian denominations <coughs> we see priests of who <coughs> of dagon <coughs> see all right <coughs> now we see this <coughs> that Uh, 
They sometimes dress in the gowns of the God they, they, they serve. Wakati mwingine Mungu anayehudu hudumia. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So that's much for Egypt. Ni hayo kwa Misri. Coming up leaving Egypt. Tutoka Misri. Coming up into Greece. Tukiingia Uyunani. Not only do we find evidence there to the same effect hatupati tu ushahidi wa jambo hilo hilo tu but increase of that evidence bali ushahidi huo unaongezeka right a kuongezeka zaidi kwa ushahidi huo the god worshiped as a child in the arms of the great mother in greece yule mungu aliyabudiwa kama mtoto anaye anayabudiwa kama mtoto katika mikono ya yule mama mkononi mwa mkononi mwa yule mama mkuu kule uyunani under the names of dionysius kwa jina la kwa jina la dionysius that child yule mtoto that child in greece yule mtoto kule uyunani sometimes he was called dionysius wakati mwingine aliitwa dionysius or bachus au bachus in Greece sometimes they called him Aichas that God is by ancient inquirers or historia that God is expressly identified with the Egyptian Osiris wima wanamtambulisha na huyu Osiris wa Misri wa Misri wanamtambulisha na yule Mungu wa Misri anaitwa Osiris kule Misri this Bacchus this is the case with Herodotus that's a historian even 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 na huyu mwana historia Herodotus who had prosecuted or examined <laughs> his inquiries in Egypt itself aliyeendesha aliyeendesha uchuguzi wake kule Misri this historian he did his his research in Egypt alifanya utafiti wake kule Misri see and speaks of Osiris of the Egyptians na wakati wote anamtaja huyo Osiris wa Misri as Bacchus to the same purpose is a testimony of Diodorus another historian who says this is Ophias this God Ophias he says introduced from Egypt aliyeingizwa kutoka Misri introduced from Egypt alitoa ali kutoka Misri alitoa kutoka Misri the greatest part of the mystical ceremonies sehemu kubwa sana ya hizi sherehe za siri the orgies that is immoral parties na hizo sherehe zenye uchafu mwingi that celebrated the wanderings of Ceres zilizo zinazorekea Mienendo ya Ceres Ceres is the mother of Ceres Ceres is the goddess mother Ni Mungu mke wa kike mama See and the whole fable of shades below of the mysteries below Na hii ni yenyewe ya hizo siri hapo chini In other words in other words this is this god Ophias which is Nimrod Huyu Mungu Ophias ambaye ni Nimrod See introduce or rather or rather the the ogies that we see in Egypt, the 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 ogies the rites that the religious ceremonies see and the mysteries of babylon see were introduced in greece the same things the rights of Osiris and Bacchus say that again brother Tere in other words the religious ceremonies of of the Egyptian god Osiris and the religious ceremonies of 
that the religious ceremonies of the god of the Greeks Bacchus are the same. So the Egyptian rites, the religious ceremonies, so the Egyptian religious ceremonies, the, the, the Greek religious ceremonies are the same. Those of Isis, of Egypt, and Ceres, of Greece, see, are exactly, exactly resemble each other, except in name. Now, as if to identify virtues with the Nimrod, Kama kum, kumtambulisha bachus na Nimrod si. Kama kumtambulisha bachus na, na, Nimrod, na Nimrod That bachus it is, is Nimrod Kama bachus ni Nimrod The leopard tema Yule mwenye kutuliza chui si. Leopards were employed to draw his car Chui walitumika kufuruta gari laki Ya yeah, chui badala gari laki kutubutu na farasi Leopards were employed to draw his car. Chui walitumika kuvuta gari laki. He himself was represented as clothed with a leopard skin. He mwenyewe alionyesho akiwa amevaa ngozi ya chui. His priests were attired in the same manner. Na makuhani wake walivaa kwa njia hiyo hiyo. Walivaa mabasi hayo hayo ya chui. Chui or when a leopard skin was dispensed with au wakati ngozi ya chui haikutu tumika did you hear that mm -hmm. or when a leopard skin was not used au wakati ule ambapo ngozi ya chui haikutumika the spotted skin of a fawn that's a deer mm -hmm. was used as a priestly robe Ngozi ya yenye madoa doa ya mtoto wa kulungu ama wa fa mtoto wa kulungu ilitumika ilitumika as priestly robe kama vazi la kikuhani la, la kuhani la kikuhani mm -hmm. in its stead badala ya, ya gozi ya, 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 ya chui spotted the phone this very custom of wearing the spotted food skin seems to have been imported into Greece Uyunani, originally from Assyria. Mwanzo kutoka Assyria. It is Greece. Uyunani, where it came from Assyria. <coughs> Remember the headquarters of Assyria was we said it was what? Babylon. <coughs> Babylon. <coughs> where a spotted phone was a sacred emblem. Ambako, Assyria, Assyria Ambako. Assyria Ambako uh, as we as we learn from uh, we learn from the from from Nineve sculptures. See, yeah. For the for there in Nineve, <coughs> we find a divinity. Bearing a spotted phone or spotted fallow deer. Au. Yeah, it's those animals in his arm <clears throat> as a symbol of some mysterious meaning. Kama ishara ya kitu flani chasiri. Au maana fulani ya si? Maana fulani ya si. We will explain that. that we are going to, uh, to, to, to explain that. But you can see if you turn over. Lakini naweza kuona kwamba ukienda ukurasa mwingine. Page 48. 
We have an Assyrian divinity with the spotted fallow deer. Do you see that? He is carrying a what? A deer. And the deer is the spotted type. Yeah, that is spotted type. And this is an, an Assyrian divinity. In other words, he is a Babylonian divinity. Carrying uh, uh, in his hand spotted fallow deer. See? Now, see now, we want to go slowly. One picture we always say is worth a thousand words. Is that clear? You've seen these people, we call them cartoonists. Yeah. He can describe a story with only a cartoon. And when you look at a cartoon, you can write you can write a story from that picture. And your story will have so many words. Maybe so many pages. But you see that picture carries your whole story. In only a picture. Did you hear that? Eh? So let's come now to this picture. Shouldn't then this picture have a long story behind it? J. Can you ask that again? J. We want to look at it. Let's look at it before we let's look at it before we come to the details. This is a god. An Assyrian God. Now, Sasa, he has wings. Did we talk about what these wings mean? Did we talk about what his wings mean? Did we? Yes. Eh? Yes. Turn back. To page 38. We have figure 14. Do you, do you see that? Do you see the, the head is a man? Do you see the head is a man? Surely, this picture that has got many faces. Alright? Ah. Uh, Each appearance uh, must be having a story behind it. And if you remember, we have described these pictures in words. Correct or not correct? In words. We have explained these wings. See? All these things. We've ex explained the bull. Right? So, See? We have explained his spread wings. We have explained his strength. For he is a strong bull. Clear? So, Here. Hapa, <coughs> and this is, is the a a hidden, a hidden God. Na huyu ni Mungu wa <coughs> yeah? Same. Now here Hapa. is the same one. Ni yule yule. Hapa ni ye, ni yule yeah. yule. Mm -hmm. The very one in in the form of a bull there. Yule yule ale katika hali ya dume kule. Is the same one here. Ni huyu huyu hapa. You see his same wings. Na wana mabawa yale yale. Mabawa yake yale yale. Mm -hmm. But this time <coughs> he is holding a spotted 
phone. Anamshikilia swala aliye na madoadoa. Every feature of these pictures kila sehemu ya picha hizi have a meaning. Zina maana. The spotted phone. Huyu swala kwenye madoadoa. All right? Now, here on page 46. Hapa katika kurasa 46. See? We have a spotted calf. Tunaandama aliye na madoadoa. On top there, hapo juu, yeye yake. We have the high priest. Tunaye kuhali mkuu. He is high priest. Kuhali mkuu wake. He is also yeye pia in his spotted gowns. Amevaa vazi lenye madoadoa. He is priest to this god. Yeye ni kuhali wa Mungu huyu. Clear? Sawa. Then, alafu on this page now 48. Sasa kwenye ukurasa huu 48. He is the same one. Ni huyo huyo. See? Naona. Now, but there are additions. Lakini kuna vitu ambavyo ameo ameongeza. See? He's holding a spotted what? Spotted phone. Swala kwenye mwenye madoadoa. Also, here he is holding anashikilia in his arm. Katika mkono wake a branch of a plant. Tawi la mti. Clear? Sawa. Surely All these things must have a meaning. And don't forget. Don't forget. The Holy Spirit has called the whole thing mystery. For it is a what? A mystery. The uninish uninitiated. Kwa wale ambao hawajaingizwa katika mpango huu. Wale ambao hawaingizwa hii kinda kindani. The uninitiated. Wale ambao hawa dini hii kindani will follow watafuata tu but not understand the mystery. Lakini hawataelewa siri zenyewe. Right? Sawa. Now sasa so you is holding that phone we shall come to that so he said one picture is worth a thousand words let's see what explanation we get from these pictures now so back here kirudi hapa that is 847 Uh, so this very custom of wearing the spotted phone skin seems to have been imported into Greece originally from Assyria where a spotted phone was a sacred emblem As we learn from the Nineveh uh, sculptures. For there, we find a divinity bearing a spotted phone. Or rather bearing, that's carrying. Or spotted followed followed deer. In his arm. As a, as a symbol of some mysterious import meaning kama ishara, kama ishara ya maana iliyofichwa right sawa kama maana ya kitu ambacho kime that picture hides something picha hiyo inaficha kitu fulani The fact that the the fo, the, the four is spotted kwamba swala mwenyewe ana madoadoa And this god is carrying the the spotted phone. Na Mungu huyu anabeba swala mwenye phone. Swala mwenye madoadoa. Right? Sawa. What is the connection? Uhusiano huo uko wapi? Uhusiano ni gani? Uhusiano ni gani? The origin the, but remember it's been called here mysterious meaning. Hapa inaitwa maana ya si. Hapa inaitwa si maana ya ya siri there is a secret in this kuna siri katika jambo hili see why this god 
would be carrying a phone and the phone is spotted. Mystery. The origin of the importance attached to the spotted phone chanzo cha maana inayohusishwa na huyu maana muhimu maana muhimu inayohusishwa na huyu swala mwenye madoa doa say that again uh, maana ya muhimu inayohusishwa na huyu original importance aha uh -huh. ah, sorry chanzo sorry chanzo maana hii muhimu maana ya, ya maana hii muhimu ya mwanzo mm -hmm attached to the spotted for in na huyu swara mwenye madoa doa and its skin and its and its skin yake had evidently come thus in kuja namna hii ilikuja namna hii ilikuja namna hii namna hii na before we had the spotted or the the leopard. Now, now spotted. Of course, spot. Of course, a, a leopard is spotted. Now we have a spotted phone. How how was the phone involved in the leopard business? And we are told here that the idea came thus this is how it was introduced in the Babylonian mystery see came thus now I want you I, 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 I want you to listen to this because I said one picture this picture has hidden meaning right see what is the meaning this is how it came about the spotted phone instead of now the leopard is now the spotted phone being carried by this God and it was that when Nimrod, Nimrod as the leopard tamer began to be clothed in the leopard skin as the trophy that is the tuzo, yeah, kama tuzo, yeah, kama tuzo, as the trophy of his skill kama tuzo la, la I will start work. He spotted dress and appearance Nasura must have impressed the imaginations of those who saw him must have impressed the imaginations of those who saw him wale mawazo ya mawazo ya wale mtazama and he came to be called na toka hapo not only the subduer of spotted one sio tu mwenye kutuliza yule mwenye madoa doa that's the leopard for such is the precise meaning of nimri nimri the leopard the name of the leopard but also he came to be called the spotted one himself see okay he was a tema of Nimri. That is the leopard. And the leopard is spotted animal. Now that the, the, his admirers 
came now even to call him not just a tamer of the leopard wakaja kumuita mwishowe siye mwenye kutuliza chui but himself lakini yeye mwenyewe nimri akaitwa nimri the spotted one vile mwenye madoado si si It's like I was telling you here a, a simple example. See, here in this country, we talk about nyayo. And nyayo is the second president of Kenya. Daniel Moi. People call him nyayo. They went to see nyayo. Initially, it seemed who used to say when Kenyatta died and he was taking over baada ya rais Kenyatta kufa na yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anachukua usukani he was he was trying to assure Kenyans because Kenyans Kenyans were in panic They didn't know what will happen. They were used to a strong president. And they didn't know another African leader. Before they had been under colonial rule. Now for 15 years. They were used to a, 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 a rulership of one of their own. Mmoja wao wenyewe mwa Afrika mwenzao. Now he's dead. They have never had a transition right they saw the colonial colonialists leave and an african take over but i have not seen an african taking over from an african now so now moi comes in to allay their fears right and they are uncertain and the uncertainty of Kenyans na hawana uhakika na, na kuondoa kutokuwa na uhakika wa hao wa Afrika wenzake so he tells them nothing will change i will follow Kenyatta's footsteps nitafuata nyayo za rais Kenyatta and he said it and he said it every meeting every meeting over the radio in television to give assurance Now instead of Kenyans taking him as him who follows Kenyatta's footsteps they called himself footsteps Kumuita yule afuatae nyayo za Kenyatta waliona kwa kifupi wa mwite nyayo So instead of Nimrod's admirers calling him him who tames the leopards badala ya wa, wenye, wenye wafuasi wa Nimrod kumuita yule atulizae chui walikuja kumuita chui mwenyewe they called him him Nimri walimuita Nimri chui I hope that is clear Natumaini hilo inaeleweka Now sasa <coughs> So they called him the spotted one himself. That is the leopard. Nimrod. We have distinct evidence to this effect. Born by Damasius. Damascus. Who tells us that? Anae, anae tuambia ya kwamba that, that the Babylonians called the only son of the great goddess mother Momis. Wa Babyloni walimuita yule mwana wa pekee wa yule mama Mungu wa kike mkuu Momis. Momis. See? That they the Babylonians called the Nimrod Momis sometimes. Wa Babyloni wakati mwingine walimuita Nimrod Momis. O Momis. Au Momis. That are Babylonians. And remember, sitting, sitting, sitting is sitting. Because this mother, according to the doctrine that they concocted, see, 
They didn't give her two sons. Hawakumpa wana wawili. Hawakumpa huyu mwanamke wana wawili. They gave her one. Walimpa mwana mmoja. And we shall see. <laughs> Sometimes to come why? Because I won't tell you this. Satan has tried so much to imitate Christianity. Or anything about God. We see him writing the message. Trying to make himself so much believer of the message. <coughs> And has his bride. Na hata ana bibi arusi wa? Wa. Wa. This message people. How to ujumbe? Who have no regard for the message. Ambao hawana heshima wa ujumbe. But they don't. But they don't come saying we have no respect for the message. Lakina hawali wa kisema kumbawa wa ujumbe. But they are behavior. Ujumbe. They are behavior. The way they attack the born again Christians. Yesu wana kwa shambulia wa Christian unweza ni marapi. So shows. Ina unyesha. Who their God is. Mungu wao ni nani. Clear. So. That's what Satan is. Hivyo divyo sikibili. Now. Sasa. Mom is. Mom is. Where God, the, the Babylonians called Momis, which, had, which was actually Nimrod. <coughs> or Momis. In Chaldean language, Momis. In Chaldean language, who the Chaldeans? Wakaldai ni akina nani? The Assyrians. Wakaldai ni wa Assyrians. The Babylonians. Wa Babylon. So they called eh they called Nimrod. Kwa hivyo walimuita Nimrod. That's the Babylonians. How are Babylon? They also called him Momis. Sio walimuita Momis. Or Momis. Or Momis. And Momis in Kaldi. Na Momis kwa Kaldai. Like Nimri, kama, kama Nimri, Momis to them, Momis kwao, signifies ina, the spotted one. Ina maanisha yule mwenye maro wadoa, au mwenye maro wadoa. Thus then, kwa hivyo basi, it became easy, ikawa rahisi, to represent Nimrod, kumonyesha Nimrod, by the symbol, kwa ishara, of the spotted phone. Ya swa, swara mwenye maro wadoa. I hope you understand. See? And especially in Greece, and wherever a pronunciation similar to that of Greece prevailed. The name Nimrod as known to the Greek. Kama vile na vijulikana kama lilivyo julikana na wa Yunani was Nebrod. Lilikuwa Nebrod. So the Greeks kwa hivyo wa Yunani instead of saying ne Nimrod, maana kusema Nimrod, they would also say Nebrod. Pia wangesema Nebrod. The name of the phone Gina. as the spotted one Jina la yule swara kama yule aliye mwenye madoadoa in Greece kwa ki, kwa kule huyu nani was Nebros. Now like, I'm going to explain that. Nitaeleza hivi. <coughs> See. So kwa hivyo Listen now listen to this. Listen, listen to me. Mm -hmm. See, listen to me. Nisikilizeni. What the Babylonians say Nimrod they mean the spotted one but a leopard clear when the Greeks say Nimrod they say Nebrod referring to a spotted phone see in other words now if Kama Nimrod is spotted one. Kama Nimrod ni yule mwenye madoadoa. Can be represented by a leopard. Anaweza kuwakilisho kwenyesho na chuli. And here we have a spotted phone. Na hapa tunaswara mwenye madoadoa. He can as well be 
represented as a spotted what? Phone. Basi ni mbrote anaza kwenye shwa kama pide kama swara mwenye madoa doa. As Nebros, according to the Greeks, the spotted fool, and thus nothing could be more natural than that. Kawaida, the spotted fool should become a synonym for Nebrod himself. Sawa tu na Nebrod mwenyeo. When therefore the virtues of Greece was symbolized by Nebros, the spotted fool, kama swara mwenye madoadoa Nebros, virtues which is Nimrod, as we shall find, he was, yeah, kama as we shall see, he was symbolized, kama tukabiona, anonyesho, as a spotted phone in Greece what could be the design but just covertly mysteriously to identify him with Nimrod Kisiri na Nimrod because he spotted a spotted one now listen if you call him Nebros Nebros Nebros. 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 We are worshiping Nebros. Nabudu Nebros. And you are showing him Na in the symbol of a spotted phone. Baishara, uh, ya swara, uh, swara then the Babylonians Babyloni, are worshiping Nimrod. Nimrod. And they are showing him as a spotted pot. Na kama chui, you the Greeks you the Babylonians are worshipping the same thing regardless of the symbol basically you are worshipping the spotted one you may represent him as a fawn you may represent him as a leopard but both animals are symbols of one that's Nimrod how that is clear so you can see that the God that that God the Nebros of the Greeks, the spotted phone, the Nimrod of the Babylonians, is the same God. See? In the Greek Septuagint, that's the dictionary of the Greeks. Translated in Egypt, the name Nimrod is Nebrod. That's in Egypt. Nebros, the name of the phone. Swarawiyo signifies the spotted one. Nimri in Egypt would also become Nimri for Bansen, that's a historian who shows that. M and B in that land in Egypt often are convertible. But meaning the same? The same thing. So we have that God there now. Let me say this. Let's look at that picture now. The Assyrian divinity. Who is he? Nimrod. Now, the spotted phone is, is carrying who is worshipped by the Greeks. What is the spotted phone? Still, listen, still himself. Yeah? <laughs> still the same God. The bearer, mwenye kubeba, and the bone is the same one. Now, he is holding a branch. Holding a what? 
Do you know the branch is still himself? As we shall see. The same one. See? It's a mystery. It's not holding a tree. Hashiki. But a branch. We have evidence that this God whose emblem is the Nebros that is the spotted phone this God was known as having the very lineage of Nimrod alikuwa sawa na ukowa wa Nimrod to the Greeks. From Anacreon, that is that is uh, another work of another historian. We find that a title of virtues was Aethiopis. 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 That is yani, the son of Aethiops. Yani, Aethiops. Aethiops. And Aethiops. Na Aethiops. Ethiopians. Ah, Ethiopians. You know they are also called Kushites. Kush. In other words, descendants of Kush. Yani, wa Kush. Aethiopians. Aethiopians. Kushites, Kushites are the same. Ni watu hao hao. They are the children of Kush. Ni wa uzao wa Kush. Now here, Hapa, Nebros, Nebros, the calling <coughs> Nebros, what? the spotted phone, El Nebros, who you swara by Madoadoa, was the emblem of the god of the Greeks. Ambaye alikuwa ni ishara ya mungu wa Ayunani. He wasn't the god but it was the emblem of the God they worshipped. It was the, they worshipped the spotted one. And they represented him as a phone. The spotted phone. And they say the God they worship is in the lineage of Nimrod. Uko. Then from this historian we find the title of Bacchus was called Aethiopis which Aethiopis meant the son of Aethiops and Aethiops but who was now I remember he's being called the son of Aethiops. But who was Aethiops? <laughs> As the Aethiopians were Kushites. So Aethiops was Kush. See? And sometimes Kush is called Kus, Kus from according to that historian there Eusebius says Kus can also be called Kus was uh, was he dear Yule from whom came the Ethiopians wa Ethiopia the testimony of Josephus <coughs> Josephus Josephus is one book that is a real scaring book I have told you here many times it's a big book so that book is big some people have borrowed it from me they have returned it not even having read one 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 hundredth Big book. But now, uh, uh, Josephus also testifies to the same effect. <laughs> and, and, 
as the father of the Ethiopians, Kama baba wa Ethiopians Kush, Kush was Ethiopians by way of eminence yeah by way of eminence yeah therefore hivyo see another historian here my historian mwingine hapa see referring to the extraction of nimr mwana historia mwingine hapa akinena kuhusu kuzaliwa kwa kwa nimrod kwa nimrod that speaks anasema hivi nimrod the son of kush nimrod mwana wa kush the the Ethiop. Yule Ethiopia. Kush the Ethiopia. Kush yule Ethiopia. Nimrod. Nimrod. The son of Kush. Mwana wa Kush. The Ethiopia. Yule Ethiopia. It was Nimrod the son of Ethiopia. Ya, yaani Nimrod mwana wa Ethiopia. Now. Sasa as Bachus or the son of Ethiopia. Kama vile Bachus alikuwa mwana wa Ethiopia. Which Bachus is Nimrod. Ba Bachus ni Nimrod. See? was the son of the Ethiopians. Alikuwa mwana wa Ethiopia. And Ethiopians is Kush. Ethiopians ni Kush. And Nimrod and Bachus na Nimrod. Na Nimrod was the son of Kush. Alikuwa ni mwana wa Kush. So, kwa hivyo to the eye kwa hicho kwa kuta kwa kutazama he was represented in that character. Alionyeshwa kwa tabia hiyo. As a Nin kama Nin Nin Nin. Nin means the sun or Nin, Ninas, Ninas. Mwana, Ninas. As Nin, kama Nin, kama Nin, kama Nin of Kush. Nin wa Kush. Kama mwana wa Kush. Kama mwana wa Kush. He was portrayed. Alionyeshwa as a youth or child. Kama kijana au mtoto. Who is that? Nimrod. Nimrod was showed as a youth. Nimrod alionyeshwa kama kijana or child au mtoto of Kush. Mtoto wa Kush and that and that youth or child na kijana huyo au mtoto was generally depicted with a cup in his hand mara nyingi kwa kawaida alionyeshwa akiwa na kikombe mkononi mwake kikombe mkononi mwake there is page 49 there huyo hapo kurasa 49 can you see that picture unaweza kuona picha hiyo 49 49 that picha is batchus or nin au nin See? Son of Ethiopia. Mwana wa Ethiopia. Or Kush. Au Kush. Is a youth. Yeye ni jana. Kijana mchanga. Kijana mchanga. And he's holding a cup. Na anashikilia kikombe. And a branch. Na tawi. Right? Mm -hmm. Sio ni branch again here. Hapa tena anashikilia tawi. There he is as a branch. Ale pia ana tawi. Here he has a branch. Hapa pia ana tawi. Can you see that? Unaweza kuona hiyo? And a cup na kikombe See? Now, sasa That cup kikombe hicho to the multitude kwa kwa, kwa, kwa watu wa kwa kawaida Say that again brother Kikombe hicho kwa watu wa kawaida exhibited um exhibited him Il. as the god of drunken revelry kilimo kuonyesha ka, kama mungu wa ulevi hmm. remember that woman is as hot kumbuka yule mwanamke ana kikombe mkononi mwake and is full of drunken what stuff na amejaa kitu kile kitu vya vya Mbija wa kule Here hapa si Bachus Bachus is holding a cup anashikilia kikombe Si Now to the multitude kwa watu wa kawaida Si The cup kikombe chenyewe show him as the god of drunken revelry kinamwonyesha yeye kama Mungu wa ulevi mwenye shereza mwenye ulevi and of such revelry na sherehe ambazo in his august katika mambo ya uchafu katika sherehe zake za uchafu zinazoja zinazoja not doubt there was abundance 
kuna shaka kwamba zilikuwa nyingi zilikuwa nyingi mambo mengi machafu ines august ines za kesi za uchafu abundance ilikuwa na wingi uchafu mwingi uchafu mwingi but yet lakini hata hivyo after all hata hivyo the cup was mainly kikombe chenyewe the cup is holding kikombe anachoshikilia had a hidden meaning kilikuwa na maana fiche right so had a hidden what kilikuwa na maana iliyofichwa and that na kwamba the name and that na kwamba of the name of the god na jina lenyewe maana yenyewe iliyofichwa ni jina la huyo Mungu mwenyewe mwenyewe wait a minute i will take you back i'll take you back slightly so that you understand so that you understand what we are trying to explain here i want you to look at that same figure 21 nataka muangalie picha hiyo nambari 21 ya kurasa go back there rudi hapo Now the god there huyo mungu hapo is the same one we saw ni yule yule ambaye tuliona as a bull alionyesha kama ndume with wings akiwa na mabao the same one ni huyo huyo here hapa in if you look remember that bull na mkikumbuka huyo yule ndume the head of that bull kichwa cha yule ndume is the same head here ni kichwa hicho hicho hapa Hiki hiki hapa. Now here hapa this god huyu mungu is holding the what? A spotted phone. Anamshikilia swala mwenye madoa. And we saw the spotted phone. Na tena kwamba huyu swala mwenye madoa doa. And he holding it. Na yeye anayembeba is the same fellow. Ni jamaa huyo huyo. Then he's holding a branch. Alafu anashikilia tao. This branch is the same fellow. Ni yeye pia. Ni yeye pia. Now we are coming back to this we are now coming to this picture. Sasa tunaandika picha hii. And we are saying na tunasema this bachus huyo bachus who is actually that uh, Nimrod ambaye kwa kweli ni yule Nimrod this bachus huyo bachus of the Greeks wa wa Yunani is holding a cup. Anashikilia kitu. Now we are told na sasa tunaambiwa although this cup would identify with the that That what? That uh, a cup full of abomination and drunken stuff. Ingawa kikombe hiki anachoshikilia kingemtambulisha na kile kikombe kilichojaa machukizo. To the ordinary people. Mtu wa kawaida. Kwa watu wa watu wa kawaida. Kawaida. But it has deeper hidden the cup has a deeper hidden meaning besides a cup of abomination lakini kikombe hicho kina maana kina maana ya kindani kuliko kikombe cha cha kubeba vinyo vinyo it has a hidden meaning kuna maana ile fichwa this cup kikombe hiki is also him kikombe hiki pia ni yeye mwenyewe yeah how kivipi how can the cup be him kikombe kinawezaje kuwa yeye The branch is holding. It's still him. But the, now we are on the cup. So so to go to anini? Kikombe chenye how can this cup be him? Inawezekana ni kwamba kikombe hiki kiwe ni wewe ni yeye. Now let's look at it. Hebu tukitazame. See? At the cup is at, him. At kikombe ni yeye mwenyewe. The cup was mainly I hieroglyphic kikombe chenyewe kilikuwa na maana iliyofichwa and that of the name of the of the god na maana kikombe chenyewe ni jina la huyu mungu mwenyewe the name jina lenyewe see how can the cup be him kwamba kikombe kiwe ni yeye how can the name of the cup inawezekanaje kwamba jina la kikombe is him is his name so, now we are pausing there for you to think before we go to the next step before we go to the next step we pause for you to think we are told that the cup cup is his is his own name ni jina lake ni jina lake mwenyewe sasa tukieni brother tena ni jina lake ni jina lake how kivipi 
Right? Sawa. The branch Tawi. is him. The food Wiyo, is him. Wiyo, swara, so the cup is him. Kikombe, How? Kivi. The name of a cup in the sacred language. Luga ya siri. Luga ya siri za siri siri zao. Jina la kikombe katika luga ya siri zao. You know that religion is a mystery. Listen. The religion itself is a what? Is a mystery. Everything in that religion carries a mystery. Kila kitu katika dini hiyo chabeba siri. See? You know, we, we also use the word another time here. We also use the word covert. Covert. Something that is hidden, covered. Covered. After all, his other title, Satan. Hata hivyo munajua ile title yake gine naitua Satan. Satan. S-A-T-U-R-N. Not Satan, Satan but Satan. Satan. That name means the hidden one. And he is the one hidden in the cup. He is the one hidden in this phone. He is the one hidden in this branch. See? Let me tell you. Surely it's a complicated religion is complicated. And the see and the public cannot help itself from this concoction. See, he concocts, he concocts, he says Presbyterian church, he concocts, he says the full gospel church, he concocts, he tells the Lord product, he just the whole witness, he concocts, he produces another product, then he calls all of them churches. Then from there he says. Now since they are all churches, Pakua, Yoteni, you can choose which one to join. <laughs> and he knows. Be Presbyterian. Be Crisco. Be Jehovah Witness. Be Seventh Day. Be Jeshila Wakobu. See? See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any church you join, as long as it's a church, don't worry. You, you will go to heaven. Can you help yourself out of the whole thing? It, it's a mess. <laughs> and and if you are not if you are not uh, happy with Crisco, <laughs> why you can join deliverance? <laughs> and then the Holy Ghost says, <laughs> "You are running from pillar to post. <laughs> you are mission trotting." <laughs> the Holy Spirit says. <laughs> Cup, I mean, Keto can't call pot black. Right? Then the Holy Spirit says, Blasphemous names. See? See? Complicated. Let me tell you, as it is complicated, Kama bile, yao ni ngumu, so is ours. How is this so complicated? We can draw the picture of a, of a poor and put a, put a serpent on the pole and keep quiet. 
you will have to consult us <laughs> to, to describe the picture. If we tell you the one hanging on that pole is Christ, your mind will be twisting. Because you will not be able to connect the serpent will, will be Christ. But for us, we know what it is. Now the heathens, when they look at the, at the phone, if you are really, if you are really, if you are really, really done what? Initiated. You will understand your religion. The phone is him. The branch is him, and him is him. You will come here, you say the branch is him, and he is him, and the cup is him. See? We can come with a lamb. You can, you can draw the picture of a lamb. You see, it's him. Just as their phone is him, so the lamb is also our God. But we don't mean that the, the, uh, uh, the lamb, the, the animal, the beast, the lamb is Christ. He is an emblem of our God. But there is a... How did you... Make him an emblem <coughs> of him. We have a story also. <laughs> it's complicated. But the good thing about ours <laughs> see, is that before they came up with theirs, Ours was already there. And they were supposed to have lined up with ours. Now, this is the original. And the original will ever be there. See? You see? He says, I am the Lord I change. No. <coughs> this one is living. Ours is a re living religion. Yeah. Living religion. Ours is stable religion. Everything about our God is stable. Doesn't change. Look at the sun. Where he set it there. And let's take the planet Earth. And the other planets. It is. It is. God has set it so well. You can't wake up. At 2 a.m. and find the sun up here. See, because the, the earth, the earth, the earth mechanically uh, gathered speed or, or whatever, uh, gather, gathered speed uh, and confused the time. No. See? That's right. That is right. Now, before we had the watch, see, we used to tell the time by, by the shadow. The shadow. See? Now, somebody, a husband would look at the shadow. And now, no, it's time to take the animals to rest. All right? Look at the shadow. And now it's time to take the, the stock back to the field. <coughs> Why? He was depending on the sun. And he knew the sun 
cannot deceive. Na alijua kwamba jua haliwezi kudanganya. And who is that you cannot who said it like that? So, if the sun can deceive, then the creator of the sun is the one who cannot deceive. He's dependable. See, he says, I am the Lord. I take you know. So what we are saying here is how is this cut him? Jay. Jay. Kikope hiki ni yeye aje Right? Sawa. See? Now, let's look at it. Tukiangalie kikombe hiki. See? The cup. Kikombe. Because we see everything here. Kwa sababu tunaona kila kitu. No matter no matter the emblem haijalishi picha yenyewe it's him ni yeye mwenyewe kila kitu ni yeye mwenyewe see now sasa let me read the sentence again wacha nisome sentence hiyo tena that cup is holding kikombe hicho anachoshikilia to the multitude kwa umma au kwa watu wa kawaida without without the knowledge of the meaning behind bila ufahamu wa maana ile nyuma ya hicho kikombe see it's nothing but revere and his august si chochote bali sherehe hizo zenye ulevi na uchafu mwingi that were no doubt ambazo in abundance ambazo bila shaka bila shaka zilikuwa nyingi zilikuwa nyingi ulevi ulikuwa mwingi anazo ilikuwa nyingi But yet after all hata hivyo, the cup was mainly a hieroglyphic kikombe kilikuwa na maana iliyo kilikuwa kinaonyesha kina, kina maana iliyofichwa kikombe kina maana iliyofichwa and that Nayakua, of the name of the god na maana ye yewe ni kikombe chenyewe ni jina la huyo Mungu mwe mwenyewe the name of the god ki jina la Mungu wao the cup kikombe how kiviki the name of a cup jina la kikombe in the sacred language katika lugha zao za siri za dini za dini so that again the water jina kikombe katika lugha yao ya siri lugha yao ya ya kidini ya kidini actually that's what it means lugha yao ya kidini lugha yao ya kidini was kus ilikuwa ni kus jina leo ni kus k h u s k h u s k h u s k h u s and thus the cup na kwa hivyo kikombe in the hand of the youthful bachus katika mikononi mwa huyu bachus kijana kijana the son of ethiops mwana wa ethiops son of kush mwana wa kush the cup kikombe in his hand mkononi mwake showed that <coughs> he was the young kus alikuwa ni kus yeye ni yeye ni kus mchanga oh au the son of kus mwana wa kus chus in the you see we have that we have that uh, It's a wood cut. Ni mchongo drawn here in a picture form. That is 22. The cup in the right hand of Bachus. Kikombe kilicho mkononi kwenye mkono kulia wa Bachus. It's held listen. It's held up in so significant a way. Kimeshikiliwa juu kwa njia kukionyesha. Kim yaani kimeshikiliwa vile kimeshikwa jinsi kimeshikwa it's not held in a way hakishikwi kwa jia yoyote there is a way it is held kuna njia ile ambacho ambayo imekimeshikwa kimeshikiliwa see all right sawa as naturally to suggest kwa kawaida kwa kama kwa ka wa ida kuonyesha that kwamba 
it must be a symbol lazima kiwe ishara kiwe ni kiwe ni ishara and as to the and as to the branch in the other hand na kuhusu tawi lililo huo mkono mwingine say that again na kuhusu tawi lililo huo mkono mwingine we have expressed testimony tuna ushahidi wima that kwamba it is a symbol ni ishara tawi hilo ni ishara the cup is a symbol kikombe ni ishara the branch is a symbol also tawi pia ni ishara but it is worthy of notice lakini ni muhimu kuona hapa that kwamba the branch has no leaves tawi tawi hilo halina majani tawi hilo halina majani halina majani ni muhimu sana uone hivyo that the branch has no leaves kwamba tawi lenyewe halina majani to determine what precise kind of a branch it is yeah, it mm-hmm. you know that is correct <laughs> if you if you uh, if you deprive a branch of leaves ukiondoa ukikata tawi wedoe majani, majani mm-hmm. And another another branch remove the leaves you can't tell which tree it is is that correct mm-hmm. yeah because they are both branches stripped of leaves so it must therefore be a generic emblem for a branch ya ya tawi or a symbol Awi. of a branch in general au ishara ya tawi kwa ujumla i'm going to explain that i want you to listen nataka msikilize i want you to listen to this nataka msikilize hii now sasa ah uh, so kwa hivyo what what is the main now this branch tawi hili that is holding analo nishikilia What is the main message uh, in ujube, this? Ujube hasa. Ujube, ujube wenyewe ni nini? Ni Because we have a branch without leaves. Ambalo halina majani. In other words, kwa maana mengine, the type aina ya tawi of the tree it aina, is, aina ya muti ambayo tawi aina ya muti here is not important. Hapa si muhimu. I hope you see The type of tree here is not what? Aina ya important. Hapa, si muhimu. In this mystery, katika siri hii, the type of tree is not important. Aina ya mti haina umuhimu. The emphasis is not the type of the tree. Mkazo hapa si, si aina ya mti. So what is the emphasis? Sasa kinachokaza hapa ni nini? Eh? The emphasis is in the branch. Mkazo hapa uko kwenye tawi. That what you are expecting to see is that he is holding a branch tawi. so the message is in the name branch the mystery is in the branch I hope that is that is clear see the two symbols hizi ishara mbili ishara ishara hizi mbili then basi must be read together lazima zisomwe pamoja lazima ishara hizi mbili ziangaliwe pa ziangaliwe pamoja and read thus na zisomwe ziangaliwe hivi they are just equivalent to zote zinamaanisha the branch of kus tawi la chus That is yani the zion msa, that is the young yani, or son of kush yani mwana mwana wa kush so that is why the emphasis is hapo ndipo mkazo ulipo see right 
Now, I, I, I hope that is clear. Now, everyone knows that we have um, another historian here called Homer. 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 Homer in his work has something he calls Odzos Arios in his work, in his book. There is what he refers in that book in one place as Odzos Arios. And Odzos Arios in English is branch of Mars. And he means the same thing. Branch of Mars is the same as son of Mars. In Mars we saw it was Nimrod. See? Or rather, Mars we saw was Kush, rather. The hidden meaning here was evidently formed on the same principle. The hidden meaning. That the cup, the cup alone, in the hand of the youthful batchus, Mikoronimo, Kikombe Pekeake Mikoronimo, Uyukijana Bachus, was intended to designate him Kumonyesha as the young Kush. Or the boy Kush. We may fairly conclude from a statement of another historian called Posenius. Tunaweza kufikia pia uamuzi mwingine kutokana na mwana historia mwingine anaitwa Posenius in which he represents the boy Quathos ambapo anamwonyesha kijana Quathos Quathos kijana Quathos as acting the part of cupbearer akicheza mahali pa mwenye kubeba kikombe and presenting a cup Na akipeana kikombe to Hercules. Kwa Hercules. Kwa Hercules. Kwa here, the boy Kwathos, is a Greek for a cup. Kwa kiwenani ni kikombe. Kwathos. Kwathos. And is definitely derived from the Hebrew kush. Bila shaka imetolewa kwa neno kibirania. Neno hilo diatoa kutoka kwa kibirania. Neno la kibirania leitua kush. Which is a cup. Ambayo ni kikombe. Which in one of the Chaldee forms. Ambayo katika njia moja. In one of its Chaldee forms. Katika moja. Katika moja ya maana ya kikaldai. Becomes kush. Inakua kush. So Hebrew say. Kaldins Kuth. Wakaldai. 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 Say Kuth. Or they also say Kuth. Kuth. The Hebrews say Kuth. Which is which means cup. The 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 Chaldeans. Kuth, 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 or Kuth, which is a cup. Now it is well known that the name of Kush is often found in the in the, in, the, in the form of Kuth. And that name in certain languages would be Kwath. The boy Kwathos. 
kijana Kuathos then kijana Kuathos the boy Kuathos bus kijana Kuathos basi is just the greek form of the boy kush ni njia nyingine ya kigreek ya kusema kijana kush the boy the the boy kush kijana kush or au the young kush kush kijana kush kija kijana kijana kush kijana see in other words son of kush kumaanisha mwana wa kush mwana wa kush which means the cup then is holding there inamaanisha basi kikombe anachoshikilia hapo is a mystery ni siri is a mystery ni siri see now Sasa. there is another there is another mystery kuna, or hidden meaning kuna kuna maana nyingine iliyofichwa kuna maana nyingine iliyofichwa mm-hmm. connected with the bachus inayohusu bachus that goes not a little to confirm this abayo hata ina ma ina inafichua ina jambo hili zaidi. zaidi zaidi that is yani the ivy branch tawi la ivy now let me say this before we go very far wacha ni sema hili kabla sana sana what we are trying to show is that kile tunajaribu kuonyesha ni kwamba that whatever name you give kama haijalishi jina na unalo mpatia it revolves around and around it ends up with the sun it ends up with the with the branch it ends up with the nimrod son of kush mwana wa kush and remember we are in greece nakumbuka tuko uyunani kukeni tuko greece uyunani greece now sasa there is another hidden meaning kuna maana nyingine iliyofichwa another mystery siri nyingine connected with the bachus inayohusu bachus na uhusiano na uhusiano na bachus that goes not a little to confirm this ambayo inaenda zaidi hata hata kuthibitisha hii hata inadhibitisha hii zaidi zaidi, zaidi. Hmm? that is yani the ivy branch tawi la ivy 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 is a plant ivy ni mmea mti Ivy is a is a is a plant. Ivy ni ni mti au mmea. Ah. Uh, and now the branch of an ivy plant. Sasa tawi. Ni ta, hapa ni tawi la huu mti wa ivy. Wa ivy. Mm-hmm. And a, is a branch. Ni tawi. No emblem was more uh, now. Sasa I want you to to be up because I want you to be up because we are going to wade through another jargon. Tunaenda kuingia kwa fumbo lingine. All right? See. We find here that this Nimrod naona hapa kwamba huyu Nimrod called Bachus in Greece anaitwa Bachus in Greece among other titles miongoni mwa vyo vingine was also typed with an ivy branch pia alifananishwa na tawi la huu mti wa ivy ivy now listen to this ivy ivy <coughs> no emblem was more distinctive of the worship of bachus hakuna ishara mm-hmm. abayo ilithibitishwa ilionyeshwa sana katika ibada ya bachus no emblem hakuna ishara was more distinctive sana of the worship of bachus katika kumwabudu bachus katika ibada katika ibada ya bachus than this kuliko hii what <laughs> ivy branch tawi la ivy they use ivy branch walitumia tawi la ivy the heathens makafiri to completely come out come out kujitokeza kabisa with the worship of of bachus na ibada ya bachus how kivi Wherever the rites that is the ceremonies religious ceremonies worship ceremonies of bachus were performed wakati wa popote 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 ibanda ibada ya bachus ilipoedeshwa popote sherehe za ibada ya bachus za bachus zilizoedeshwa I'm going to read that now. Mm-hmm. Wherever the rites 
or virtues were performed popote ambapo ibada za sherehe na virtues ziliendeshwa wherever his orgies were celebrated popote sherehe zake zenye uchafu mwingi popote sherehe zake zenye uchafu mwingi zilipo edeshwa the ivy branch was sure to appear tawi la ivy bila shaka lilihusishwa katika sherehe hizo right sawa ivy ivy that plant mti huo in some form or other katika hali fulani au nyingine was essential to this celebration ilikuwa mti huu wa aibe kwa jia moja au nyingine ulikuwa ni muhimu sana katika sherehe za bachus essential we mean muhimu namaanisha essential muhimu in the celebrations of bachus katika sherehe za bachus that tree of ivy was essential in those religious ceremonies and celebration ulikuwa na muhimu sana the votaries that is devotees wafuasi wa bachus carried in it carried it carried the ivy branch in their hands walibeba tawi la aibe mikononi wow when they are having celebration if children are carrying aibe bright watoto wanabeba tawi la bachu kina mama carrying aibe old people are carrying aibe bright everybody has got what aibe bright they have come out to celebrate they are god wow If not carrying it in the hand they bound it around their heads around remember we are stressing around in other words what was tied around was a circular thing in a circular form ilikuwa katika kitu chenye umbo la duara wali wali walitengeneza kidua kiduara right sawa why round kwa nini iwe mviringo if they didn't carry it in their hand kama hawakubeba tawi hilo mkononi tied it around their head walilifunga au 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 kufunga kuzugusha kuzuguka kichwa vyao they had the i believe walikuwa na tawi na jani la jani lenyewe sasa sasa wako na jani lenyewe la ivy indelibly stamped upon their persons likiwa limebandikwa wamembadikwa milini milini mwao now the the leaf wherever it is stamped but an ivy what could be the use what could be the meaning of this isn't that and to those important questions je hayo si maswali yenye umuhimu si a few words will suffice to show it maneno machache yatatosha kueleza maneno machache yatatosha kueleza in the first place jambo la kwanza we have evidence tunao ushahidi that kwamba kisos 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 is K I double S O S. Kisos ni K I S S. And it says here in the first place. In other words, it says a few words will suffice to show it to answer those two questions. Maneno machache yanatosha kujibu maswali haya. 
in the first place we have evidence that Kisos the Greek name for ivy in other words the Greeks call ivy what? Kisos was one of the names of Bacchus so they also called Bacchus what? Kisos and Kisos also was the name of I the plant. That's why it's see it's saying here. See? Now to see people carrying ivy branch in their hands. Tying the rings of an ivy on their head. Or has put up a, a, a what? A leaf of an of an ivy on the head or wherever. What would this? And they are celebrating. They are drinking. They are dancing. Oh, with an ivy thing. An ivy plant. What does it mean? And it says, a few, uh, it said that a few words would suffice to show it, to explain. Man. That in the first place, Man. we have evidence Man. that Kisos, Kisos, the Greek name for ivy, Gina, like Yunani, la ivy, was one of the names of Bacchus. And further, Nazaidi, sana, Nazaidi, Nazaidi, that that though the name of Kush, Kush in its proper form, was known to the priests in the mysteries ingawa jina la bachu silenyewe kama vile livyo kuwa lilijulikana na makuhani katika siri za dini yao yet that the established way in which the name of his descendants lakini jina lile ya balo liliito liliitoa uzao wake the Kushite, wa yani, wa Kushite, yani wa Kushite, was ordinarily pronounced in Greece kwa kawaida, kule yunani, was not after the oriental fashion but as Kisayoi 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 was the name of the descendants of Kush. Lilikuwa ni jina la watu wa ukoo wa Kush. Au Kisioi. Au Kisioi. So, kwa hivyo another historian here speaking of the inhabitants of uh, uh, the land of the land of Susa. Mwanasheria mwingine akisema juu ya wale watu waliokaa Susa. Some of these names are his all the names of na of countries majina ha, majina haya, majina majina haya, haya, inchi, za zamani, zamani. Yeah, yeah, countries have changed names take for example zimbabwe what was the name of zimbabwe before northern rhodesia southern rhodesia what was the name of where malawi no not malawi but Malawi was a Nyasaland. And that is what? Um, Northern Rhodesia was? Zambia. Zambia. Abyssinia was? Ethiopia. Abyssinia. Ethiopia. So names. When you come across some of these old names of countries, don't, don't, don't worry. So, all right? So he says, the descendants of Kush, Kush in Susa, Kule Susa were the people of Kusin, Kusistan. Kusistan. Watoto wa Kush. Yani kizazi cha Kush. Or the ancient land of Kush says uh, of the ancient of, of, of the of the ancient land 
of Cush the Susians say are Kisioi. That is beyond all questions. See? That is beyond all questions, Kushites. In other words, listen, in other words, we are saying this in summary. We are saying Kisioi are Kisioi is just a name that has changed and changed. But in short, is Kush. Clear? And the Greeks call the ivy tree or the ivy branch or rather the ivy plant wa yunani wa greek wanaita unini mumea wa wa ivy wanaita kisos now listen for the greeks to call ivy kisos ili wa greeks wa yunani wanaita ivy kisos listen to me for the greeks to call the ivy plant kisos and we talked about the history of names you remember so it arrives it arrives in greece in Asia, greece see they call the ivy kisos. But when we follow that name, it ends up as the name of Kush. So when these Greeks are celebrating carrying what? Branches of the I the what? The ivy, which is kisos. Surely, and Kisos is Kush. And they are not carrying a whole plant of ivy. They are carrying a what? A branch. If Kisos is Kush, and they are only celebrating with a branch, then they are not celebrating. They are not worshipping Kush, but the son of Kush. And who is the son of Kush? And Kush begot Nimrod. Kush becomes a Nimrod. So you see, it's a twisted thing. Now let me say this. Let me say this. Today, if you find the heathens, if you are part of Makapiri Hawa, on the road with the branches of ivy. I wonder whether anybody among them can answer the whole history. So, sorry, you are history. Why are you carrying an ivy? Well, our, our religion does that. Oh, why an ivy? Uh, we don't know. We, we found my, I found my mother with this. Do you know you are not supposed to follow something because you, are, you, are, you, are, you found it with your parents? My children should not believe what I believe because after all we found daddy with this. God must deal with them the way he dealt with me. It must be revealed to them. That's why, listen, now, Abel, Habili, Habili, Abel didn't, listen, Abel didn't follow his father's religion because he saw it with the father. It was, he got fresh, fresh, fresh revelation. Amen. Amen. Isaac didn't follow Jehovah because he found Abraham following Jehovah. He had his own personal, personal revelation. 
If you follow a religion because you vowed it with the parents, you cannot stand for it because you are not convinced. Now, I'm extending it. That's why in our religion, I must know God as my father. My child must know, must know him as his father. In other words, I must be born of God. For him to be my father. My child is not is not going to be my 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 child's father. My father, my heavenly father, is not going to be my child's father. Baba yangu hata kuwa baba No? La. My child's relationship with my father will not be through me. How to be direct. It will have to be direct. It will have to be direct. Direct to him. You have to be born of him. So at the end of the day, my son will not be my son will be my brother. And we both shall be one father. See? God has no ground. I have seen this. Uh, I have called them heathens of the message. Mapafiri or Jube. I've attended their funerals. When their daughters or their sons die, wakati binti zao wa wanao wanapokufa, you know they preach in their funerals. Wanaabiri katika mabiri yao because the father is a, is a, is a preacher of the message. Oh, they don't want the child to be not not to be uh, to be to get lost. So they preach that their children to heaven. How when I will be to our what be good? He say our brother. Even we be even when he died in the drinking den. Ali kubia mahali papobe is our brother. I wish they could hear me. See, and deny what I'm saying. I have not heard from someone. I have witnessed in their meetings. And I want to tell them they are, they are lying to their children. My son will have to know God the way I knew him. My daughter will have to know God the way I knew him. You have to know him in the power of his resurrection. You are not going to listen. They are not going to go into the kingdom of God through me. Uh, you mean you are you are yeah, you are the daughter of Pastor Mogo. Anyway, although you didn't believe like him, but you are. I think. I think. We should. We should shame Pastor Mogo. Enter into the kingdom. Unless one is born again, he cannot. Enter into the kingdom of God. It never says, unless he is a daughter of pastor. <laughs> I want to know the children of the so called message people. Don't believe your parents. They are deceiving you. Seek God to give you supernatural birth. Forget what your mother is telling you. Forget what your father is telling you. You must know God your own way. Kibiako. Abraham knew God direct. Isaac didn't talk about the God of his father. Isaac He met that God. Jacob didn't talk about the God of his father Isaac. 
he met that God, wrestled with him, and from there he knew his father Isaac was right. He has no grandchildren. And you, you message people, you are, you are deceiving your children. You want your children to get lost the way you are lost. Children, don't you believe your parents? There is a living God. You must know him personally. It is going to be personal experience. Now that is clear. So, for those heathens to celebrate holding the branch of Kisos, who is Kush, they may not know what this branch they are holding means. So, and that's the many people, that's the the, the way people are in the denomination. If you ask somebody why he's a Catholic, you ask somebody why he's a Crisco, you ask somebody why he's a Jehovah Witness, they, they can't tell you. But I have to tell you, I want to be convinced of what I believe. And I don't want somebody to represent me. I want to be answerable for my conviction. See? I want something that I can die for. If it's something that I'm convinced about you and I'm following you when, and, when it comes to threats I will deny it. Now, Listen, Peter, Petro, Peter, Petro, was Peter swore Petro, to follow Christ and to defend him. But when there was trouble, he was not a follower, neither was he a defender. But when Christ came in him, he couldn't leave him. He was in him. He couldn't deny him. He was in him. It makes a lot of difference. In a letter to Fauti Kubo. Makes a lot of difference. In a letter to Fauti Kubo, sir. Convinced. Then concerned. Hearing. Recognizing. Acting. Upon the word of God. See. Now let's continue. Now, uh, <coughs> so there is another histor historian here called Strabo. Um, in Hesychius, according to Strabo. See, the name is Kisayo. See, this is another study by somebody else. See, see the epithet the epithet applied to the land of Kush in Eschelas is Kisinos. Nikisinos. And the above accounts for for one of the unexplained titles of Apollo. Do ya one of the unexplained. Moja ya majina aliopewa Apollo. Abayo in ayele. Ayelezi. Si. So Kiseus Apollo. Kiseus Apollo. Kiseus Apollo. In that, uh, in the, in the study of that, uh, stru, in, in the, in the study of Strabo, he has, in his study, come up with I'm others, I'm others talking about Kiseos Apollo. Katika, katika, utafiti wake me, kutana na watu wengine wanaogea, wananena kusu moja anaitua Kiseos Apollo. Kiseos Apollo, and which, in his 
in his discovery realized they were talking about the Kushite, the Kushite Apollo. Yule. See? Now, if Kisioi be Kushites, Kama kisioi ni kushites Hawa wana witu wa kisioi Kisioi ni wakush Ni 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 wakush Then kisos Masi kisos Is kush Ni kush Then father Alafu zaidi Zaidi ya hayo Zaidi ya hayo The branch of ivy Tawi la ivy Which the Greeks call ivy kisos Amba wa yunani wana yuta ivy kisos that occupied so conspicuous conspicuous a place in all bacchanalian that is celebrations of virtues we can call them bacchanalian celebrations bacchanalian celebrations that is virtues celebrations Tunaona kwamba tawi hili ambalo lilichukua mahali pa kipekee tawili tawili la ivy tawili la ivy lilikuwa nafasi kubwa sana katika sherehe za batchus za batchus was an express symbol ilikuwa ni ishara wima wima of batchus himself batchus mwenyewe for kwa sababu another historian says here kusema ana historia mwingine anasema hapa that batchus as represented by his priest kama alivyo batchus kama alivyo akirishwa na kuhani wake kuhani wake was known in the mysteries alijulikana katika siri zenyewe as the branch kama lile tawi au kama tawi and from this then na kutoka hii basi it appears how Kisos, Kisos, the Greek name of Ivy, jina la kiunani, la Ivy became the name of Bacchus. As the son of Cush, and as identified with him, he was sometimes called by his father's name wakati mwingine aliitwa kwa jina la baba yake Kisos 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 his actual relation uhusiano wake hasa however hata hivyo to his father kwa baba yake was specifically brought out by the ivy branch nilionyeshwa hasa na tawi la ivy for the branch of Kisos which I'm going to explain that which to the prophet Varga yeah, Makafiri was only the branch of Ivy see to the initiated it was the branch of Kush the Kush right Tawi la kush now you see you see is it interesting naona ni akushangaza listen naona sikiliza now meet a meeting kutana na mkutano kutana na mkutano maybe the, the meeting has thousands of uh, people celebrating pengine mkutano una watu maelfu wanao sherekea all carrying hot i be hot wote wakikaa right. tawi la ivy in ivy to the to the to the greeks na ivy kwa wainani is kisos ni kisos listen listen to me and ivy to the greeks is kisos na ivy kwa wagree wainani kisos that plant mmte huo in the occurring branches na wanabeba ivy branches wanabeba matawi ya ivy now sasa uh it is simply it is simply shows that they are not carrying the mother plant they are carrying the branch of the tree and if kisos is kush and they are carrying the branch then they are carrying the son of Kush. They are worshiping the son not the, the father of Kush. 
<laughs> don't forget we are talking about the child in Greece. So, no wonder when we meet these heathens, we don't meet the father, we meet them carrying the child. The symbol, not the symbol of the father, but the symbol of the child. The child in Greece. Who is this child in Greece? It was the son of Kisos. And who is the son? And who is Kisos? Is Kush. And Kush begot Nimrod. Have you see? It is a twisted game. You see? You see what we are what we are doing is to dig deep. Now. What we are saying, even the very heathens celebrating and carrying those branches, would listen to what we are saying with their, their mouths agape. Do you mean all these celebrations we have been doing is to, to a man? They, they would wonder. You mean we are worshipping man? You mean this branch I was, you mean this branch I was carrying is representing a, a human being that I'm worshipping? I want, to, I want to tell you this. Exactly as people in the denominations don't know they are deceived. And when they hear the word explained, see, those who are sincere is when they discover it's in the wrong thing. Do you want to do a cut to an up Bye. But when they are there, oh, to them they are in a, in a church and they are waiting to die when the bishop will come and just send him to heaven. Wakati bishop wataka po kuja amfanyanini. But take the scripture. Take the word. Bring out the truth. To ukweli bele yake is when he discovered he's lost. Amepotea. How did you discover? Why did you believe this? Didn't we all have our own religion? Why are you not very sure? But when you have the word, you turned around. See? That is it. See? Those are the people that Paul would find in various hidden cities that he visited. That he preached. Alright? In Athens. In Greece. Right? In Ephesus. In Asia, present day Turkey. Not with the present boundary of, boundaries of course. See? Right? Let, let, let me finish one more paragraph here. Then, then I'll send you out for break. But before we go for break, uh, I mean before or uh, during break, before we we, we, we we go, let us go through baptism. We finish up with the baptism, and then uh, from there we shall proceed. We will see whether we will can add you some 10 extra minutes. Right? So let's go through one paragraph here before we break. Uh, so, I'm reading that paragraph there. The chaplet. The chaplet is the, the headband of Ivy. The chaplet. You see, that that chaplet. Now, okay, maybe I better explain one thing here. So, the ivy, the ivy, it's a, it's a kind of a, it's kind of a climbing. Yeah, nuakutaba. 
so you can make a ring of it. And the chaplet or the headband of ivy. Ulio, walio, walio funga kwenye. Kwenye kichwa. Yeah. Mushipi wa aibe walio funga kuzuguka kichwa had evidently a similar hidden meaning to the above. Yeah, what it says, what it means is this. Listen, what it means is this. If you, if you met somebody with a headband of aibe or one carrying or one with a leaf um, stuck on the body it just meant the same thing they are, they are all worshippers of Kisos is that, I hope that's clear uh, So it had the same hidden meaning. <laughs> for the Greek Zaira. We are going to explain something here before we break for lunch and you better you better be attentive. You better, you better, you better listen to this. Because it is a, another jargon. It's a jargon. You see, this one is carrying a branch. This one is has stuck a what? A, 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 a leaf. Now this other one is has a what? A, 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 yeah, duara, mm -hmm. a, a round, a round band. Mm -hmm. It's round. <laughs> now, Sasa, but all, lakini hivyo, vitu vyote, the same plant. Ni mti now, uh, let me, let me, let, let me. See. Read that again, brother Terewe. It's talking about the chaplet. Your ring, you see? Yo, yeah, I'm very good. Your duara. Your duara. Yo, duara. duara. Remember here, there is the issue of the ship. The ship is a round thing. The chaplet. All the, he the headband of ivy had evident evidently a similar hidden meaning to the above. For the Greek Zaira, <coughs> Zaira Kisou, Zaira Kisou. Kiso, you know, is Kiso. Kuligana wa Yunani, according to the Greeks, Zaira Kiso is either a band or circle of ivy. Now, look, look, see, so this one is a branch. This one is a leaf. This one is a what? What does the, the round thing mean? What does the, the, the ship, the ship, the round ship mean? It has a hidden meaning. Right? Now, don't, don't sleep. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to listen to me. Because it's more that you listen. Alright? I'm trying to convey something to you that is important. Very important. How Satan has tried to imitate the what? This Bible. We are seeing that some people had that the ivy are made in a round form and put on the head as a band. Clear. Round. Uh, our blackboard here is very full, but but let me just say round. So far, 
we have no problem with a branch. Because branch is a branch of, of a main thing. Tawi ni sehemu tu ya kitu ki kingine. And so when we say branch, uh, we know it's a branch of something. So when we say a son of, branch of, branch of, but now we have, we have a round thing or a round ship of the same plant. So we can say is a ring of kisos. Or we can say it's a ring of ivy. An ivy ring. An ivy ring. Audwara. Audwara ya ivy. Branch of ivy. La ivy. A ring or a circle of ivy. Duara ya ivy. Are you following me? Right? Okay. Now let's see. Z so to the Greeks, that round ring of ivy worn on the as as headband. See? Is they call it Zaira Kiso. That ring. In other words, Zaira Ivy. Zaira Ivy or Zaira of Ivy au Zaira ya Ivy is either a band or circle of Ivy ni mshipi au duara ya Ivy that Zaira Ivy yo Zaira oh au the seed of Kush mbegu au mzao wa Kush au mbegu ya Kush I want you to follow this see now you know uh, generally Generally, generally, when you draw a picture of a seed, you generally draw around what? Yeah, a seed. And here, we have a round shape of ivy. See? Or the seed of the seed of Kush. Now listen, the formation of the of the Greek Zaira Vile wa Yunani wali walivyo chora Zaira vile wa Yunani walivyo chora Zaira See? A zone. A nail. A nail. Zaira. Zaira. A zone. A nail. Or enclosing band. Au mshipi unao funga. Au mviringo. Mviringo. Unao. Zunguka. Unao zunguka. Yeah, something like that. Enclosing band. Mshipi. Unao zunguka. Unao zunguka. Unao zungukia. Yeah. Enclosing band. Mshipi unao zungukia. See? See? From the Kaldi, Zer, you see, the Greek has a Zaira. To the Kaldi, Zer, Z-E-R, means to encompass. Au kuzugu. Kuzungukia. Au kuzugushia. Kitu, something like that. The Kaldi, Zer is encompassed and it shows that zero the seed which was also pronounced zera would in like manner in some Greek dialects Become Zaira. What's wrong with the baby? Okay, Zaira. Zaira. A good toy. I will need a What's the problem? Aya. 
toa kofia toa e kofia we are just a few minutes mambo ni na keti hapo na e just a few minutes now sasa now ze zera zera or zera au zera would in like manner ingekuwa kwa njia hiyo hiyo in some greek dialect katika lugha zingine za kionani zera zera or zer in kaldi kaldayo kaldi zer they didn't pronounce zer they pronounce zera kwa kaldayo zer walitamka zera and in some greek greek dialects na katika lugha zingine za kionani it would become zera ingekuwa zera Kisos. Kisos is aibe ni aibe in Greek. Katika Yunani retains the radical idea of the kaldi Inabaki, kesha inabakisha inabaki maana ile ile wazo lile lile la wakaldai mm -hmm. which is kesha, kesha or kesa au kesa which is to cover or hide. Inamaanisha kufunika au kuficha. Now you see now you see we are saying tunasema zaira zaira is a round band ni mshi mshipi wa dua in greek kwa kionani zer which is zira zer about is zera it means to encompass na maanisha kuzungushia kuzungushia and now they are they have their heads hot sasa vi, wa, surrounded wa, vichwa vyao wamezungushia they have the shape of something that surrounds wana umbo la kitu ambacho kinazunguka huwa kina kinazunguka ama kinazungusha zanzungushia zanzungushia and in 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 in, in, in kaldi na kikaldayo they say zera wanasema zera now sasa in kaldi kwa kikaldayo kesha kesha o kesa au kesa means to cover or hide inamaanisha kufunika au kuficha au kuficha mm -hmm. from which then there is reason to believe na kutokana na hiyo kuna sababu ya kuamini the name of kush kwa majina la kush is derived limetokana for ive is characteristically the cover the cover or hider kwa kuwa ive kwa kwa tabia kwa ive inaweza kuelezwa kama kifuniko ama kitu cha kuficha yeah Ina, now look here let me explain it in a simple language wacha nieleze kwa lugha ile ya rahisi you see they are having a a what a round what wanaduara kichwa ni mwao round band round band to the kaldi kwa kaldayo is actually what we call zero kwa kweli ni kile tunaita sufuri zero zero and zero na zero sufuri also means to encompass inamaanisha kuzungushia is that clear to encompass kuzungush kuzunguka kuzungushia and if you remember na kama mtakumbuka one of the names of nimrod moja ya majina ya nimrod was one who encompasses encompasses the city alikuwa ni yule anayezungusha nini anazungusha anazungushia muji nini ukuta to secure it ili kuhilinda kuhilinda and here there having now him na hapa sasa wako na yeye in a circular form katika umbo la mviringo right mm -hmm. and encompassing na akizungua kizungua kizungushia now sasa that's why we are saying there is reason to believe ndio maana tunasema kuna sababu ya kuamini the name of kush jina la kush is derived limetokana limeto for ive kwa sababu imetokana na sababu kama kwamba ivy ivy is characteristically uh, mara, uh, na, tabia ya ivy tabia ya ivy who is kisos ambaye ni kisos listen mm -hmm. remember nimrod is the one who encompasses with the what with the walls kumbuka ni, ni nimrod ambaye huyo uzungushia uzungushi mji kuta kuta to secure kulinda see 
Now, Sasa, and here, na hapa, he is being represented with a what? With a circle. Kwa umbo la now it's, it's, it's jargon. Sasa and, and you better listen to me na, as I finish. Now, Sasa, so, as a circle, kama aduara, is a seed. Say that again. Kama duara, as a circular is a seed. Kama duara, as a branch kama tawi, is a sun. Also, Pia, a circular kama mbirigo, is an and 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 what? And kampasa. See? <laughs> one of his, one of the characters of Nimrod, Moja ya tabia za Nimrod was one that encircled the cities with the walls. To secure them. To secure the people. To secure the inhabitants. Right? See? Now, Sasa, or au, the cabra or haida, kufunika, au kufisha. Kufisha. to secure Ili in Aho. connection with this, kusiana, kusiana hi, it may be stated kusema, that the second person of the Phoenician trinity Kwamba Mungu Mungu wa Phoenicia was Kusoras 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 whatever that's according to the historian Wilkinson Hey and I'm going to I'm going to take you through that sentence again <laughs> This historian Wilkinson, Wilkinson while studying the God of, of the Phoenicians, Akijifuza Mungu ya Phoenicia, he came to discover that their second God, their second God, they called him Kusoras. And Kusoras, Kusoras of the Phoenicians Phoenicia, was none other but Kus Zoro. Kus, Kusor, Kusorus Kus, or whatever. Zoro. Kusorus. Uh, Kusorus sorry. Kusorus. Was, was just a combined name of two names. Is Kus, Kus and then Soros is Zoro. Kus Zoro. Kus Zoro. <laughs> you know, I'm trying. I'm finishing up here, but I want you to listen. Kus Zoro. Kus Zoro. So there are two names. So, now, Kus there is who? Kus is Kush. Kus happening Kush. And this is Zoro or Soros. Soros or Zoro. Is Zer. Nizer. And what is Zer? Nizer in any? The seed. Ben. So, Kuzoro. Kuzoro. We are saying in short, is that the seed? Kuz. Ho, ho, you know, Zoro ma, is zero. Begu, yeah, Zoro is zero. The zero Zoro we write. Nisufuri. Let me ask you this. Where did the mathematics come from? In science. Babylon. Babylon. Where did we get zero? zero wapi? Babylon. Babylon. And a zero, na zero can mean to surround. Zero and he was a surrounder. He, he was a builder of, of walls. Remember, even the wife was, was later associated with his character. Okay? Mm-hmm. About these tariffs, world cities, Israel. Israel, one of the things they feared 
When they came from Kenya, I mean Egypt, they went to spy the land. One, one of the things that one of the things they feared were wow, these Zoros. <laughs> the world cities. All oh, the cities are world to heaven. All oh, those guys are secure in their cities. Oh, they are so encompassed. You can't reach them. See? But the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Now, so, Kus Zoro, Kus Zoro, and Zoro is zero, na zoro ni zero and Zero and Zoro is a circle, na zoro ni mviringo, then it is the seed Zoro of Kus. Basi zoro ni mbegu ya and we have already seen na kuwana, that the Phoenicians, hao, Phoenicians derived their mythology from Assyria. Mambo ya dimu yao walitoa kutoka Assyria. Assyria from Babylon of course. Babylonia. From the Babylonian from the Assyrian. Walitoa mambo Oh the Lord bless you very much. Bwana awabariki sana. Let's stand. Hebu tusimame. The Lord bless you. One of our Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you very much for plucking us from the mouth of the lion. Amen. Glorious Master, even the enemy. Amen. That Lord, we may believe in thee Amen. and that you may restore us Amen. to that prime of faith. Amen. The faith of Abel. Amen. The faith of Abraham. Amen. The faith of Paul. Amen. Oh, the faith of Moses. Amen. We thank you very much. Amen. We pray, Lord, that you may further deal with us in a special way. Amen. I pray, Lord, that you may give us a divine understanding Amen. of the holy things of God. Amen. Heavenly Father, Amen. we thank you very much for, Lord, bearing the enemy, Amen. that you may see him as he is. Amen. Glorious Master, we pray for the predestinated who could be trapped in these religious systems that in your own way, O oh God, you may send your voice to that heart Amen. and gather all to thyself who are predestinated to eternal life from this generation. Amen. And prepare us, Lord, for thy second coming. Amen. We commit all things unto thee. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you very much. Let us sing uh, as we go out for baptism. Who is, who is being baptized? Who is the candidate? We will ask Brother Nashan to assist us in the baptism. What is the candidate? Anai baptism ni nani? Are you worthy? Is it a lady or a man? Huh? Eh? A girl, a young girl. Okay, so we'll give uh, somebody here who will assist. This idea. We want uh, this. Ah, uh, so waja. Utasa idea. We au muto tata sibua. Okay. Utasa idea we must change. Mwabi aja.
Wapi Wapi vitu vyako? Chukua vitu vyako au mpe brother Waidaka tafuta mtu akae achunge vitu vya huyu usichana isipotee. Eh? Au ana mtu. Alafu atokea asimame hapa watu wakitoka ataitwa apewe nguo eh ah uh, let us sing this one that says lord bring back those happy days lord bring back those happy those happy days when the whole goes fell on every Bring back the Lord, bring back the Sabbath. When the Holy Spirit on every Bring back.